In this video, you're joining us in Cheyenne, Wyoming at our overnight stop after a day of dodging storms in our last video. But we awoke with a new set of challenges in Cheyenne. Got a couple wind turbines at the campground. I don't even know what we looked like because we made a last minute decision to uh, just jump out of bed and get on the road because we were getting chased by storms last night and then this morning there is the potential for some really bad like 65 mile an hour gust winds. So we wanted to get on the road um, as quickly as possible. Um, we didn't even know if we were going to be able to but we woke up and the wind is not howling yet so off we go we're at least gonna go get to Laramie see what our consumption is like because we did not get up to 100% last night because we had to leave the charger early last night to get ahead of the storms so yeah <laughs> the storms produced yeah hail. ping pong, so ping pong ball size that. hail so we are glad we got out of there um, but now we're gonna have to deal with oh guys I see some mountains um, we're gonna have to deal with not quite having the charge that we want. So we're gonna see what happens today. Yeah, and it's like 80% is what we got, 81%, and we really need 100. Yeah. Especially so, the elevation change is 3,000 feet. Yes. But, but there are some slow chargers in Laramie, which is past the biggest part of the elevation change. So we're gonna at least get to Laramie, see what's going on, and that gets us past one phase of the wind, high wind warnings. So we're gonna at least get to Laramie and then go from there. So we got a whole bunch of elevation change, so we'll see how she does. right now uh, the winds are just howling um, super stable right now you know haven't been pushed around by the wind much or anything but it's just eating that consumption when we're also going up in altitude so uh, we've got about another 1100 feet to go up and then we'll start going back down so hopefully we will regain some of that and we can kick up our speed here and just continue on our way but we'll see you what we recoup. 68 plus. This is 60, right? This is 60. 80 closed. High profile. Laramie to Walcott. So hopefully. So I guess we just received some good news or bad news. However you want to look at it. So you might as well kick up your speed a little bit because we got to charge in Laramie no matter what, right? It says high profile. So like that semi can't go. Oh. Well, sometimes they won't like hampers go either. Okay. I don't but know. But anyway, I-80s close to high pro profile vehicles past Laramie. So, um, yeah, we are, uh, we'll see if we're included in that or not. But, um, yeah, so 60 mile an hour gusts they're getting. So, I guess we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Slower than 20 kilowatts. So. Way slower. <laughs> this 
much of this as possible. Okay, so I just finished buttoning up in the camper and ooh, I better get my contacts in real quick before Steve gets back. Steve went to go get the Hummer from the charger over at the gas station. We were at this little um, uh, bank that's closed today. So we just dropped a the trailer there because it was just across the street and we're crossing our fingers that conditions are good enough that we're going to make it at 0.9 miles per kilowatt hour. So we will see what happens, but um, I'm going to finish getting everything ready to go and then we'll be on the road again. So we were just at this little bank. This GMC dealership has a DC fast charger, but it is not turned on. So we were at the Ford dealership across the road because they had the faster charger then. Another drop in the trailer. Oh. This thing needs to be greased or something. Well, maybe we can see if they've got some in there when we go get water. It's like WD. Well, do we have some of that green can? It would be up front here. I think it's actually in the back. Yeah. It's all. a different cassette than we've I'm sure the wind is terrible but oh yeah you totally could have yeah you wouldn't have been fine with it <laughs> now somebody bring a cement cutter and just <laughs> Give us the juice. The juicy juice. And yeah, it's charging. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I feel like my F 350 at like went to 350. Uh, Do you remember that? Yeah. That's too bad. Alright, well. Do I try a different one or you know, I, that? Well, I don't know. I feel like people were saying that they weren't getting much more than this out of them, but I don't know. Well, that's boring.
That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it goes down the there. See how many of them actually come to our talk. Not everybody here is gonna come to our talk. Hopefully, this isn't like all the kids. Oh my gosh! Because. We arrived at the Airstream rally with just 4% left in our battery and couldn't believe how many Airstreams there were. We spent the next week exploring Rock Springs, Wyoming, and sharing our experiences about towing with an EV. So on our trip to Wyoming, we were not able to use the Flow Charger app just because there weren't any networks around in the area that we were at. And on our recent trips, we've been using the Flow Charger network app a lot more, and we've really been enjoying it. Yeah. So one of the reasons why we like the Flow app so much is that it has everything all in one place. So you can see that besides Flow, there are a list of other different type charger networks that you can use on the Flow app. Um, and so we've been using ChargePoint a lot, and it's kind of nice because instead of having to have all of these different chargers and all of these different apps on our phone, we can just load money onto our Flow account and then use the Flow app to make get our charges and everything. So it's been really nice to have it all located in one spot, and we can have money on our account in one spot. We don't have to load money everywhere else and then we can get all of our charge history in one place as well. So it's been really nice to have all of this in one place rather than having to go back and forth between all of these different apps. So we've really enjoyed it. So another thing you can do is filter to find a available chargers. You can also find fast chargers. You can find ones that are compatible for your specific vehicle. You can even find free charging if you want to. The other thing that you can do is when you're in a a location and you want to charge you can start and monitor all of this the charging from one spot you can start your charging from here you can monitor to see how the charging is going there's even instructions and if you need help flow has help right there within the app uh, even troubleshooting and some common questions or common problems that you might have while you're charging it also has like a little widget on your lock screen so you can see what's happening right away it'll send you an overview of your charging session as soon as you're done charging uh, it also sends you an email of your charging session so you can get your history all in one place uh, and get it emailed to you so it's pretty cool how everything is just all in one location and you don't have to worry about messing around with multiple apps yeah, so we really recommend going and downloading the app and checking it out and seeing if you have locations near you where you can use the app and stop having to have so many different apps on your phone. So we are gonna go kind of off-roading. It's kind of just a dirt road, but a little bit of like, a little bit rougher than a dirt road type of a thing. So, um, and we have our friends in their Rivian R1T behind us. So we just wanted to get both the trucks off-road a little bit, do a little bit of videoing and and see how they do. So we're gonna go try to find some wild horses is what we're looking for out here. So um, we're excited to do that. And as you can tell, we just went off, <laughs> just got off the pavement and let's go exploring.
darn it. Good view, isn't it? Thanks for joining us on this adventure. Check back on our next adventure video when we head back home from Rock Springs. You won't believe how far we make it on a single charge.